Hey everybody, welcome back to Tech Voodoo. Today, we're gonna go ahead and install the interior here on White Rhino. Anyway, I've got a tech tip for you. If you have a bolt that you can't get your finger on to get set, and you need to put it inside the socket, and you need to hold it inside the socket, use a little bit of electrical tape on the head of the bolt. Trust me, it works. You can use this on the bolts or the nuts. And the good thing about the electrical tape is once you put that on there, show you here, press it on like so. And now she ain't gonna go anywhere. When it comes time to take it off, it slides right off. Real nice and simple. There are a few bolts that are hard to get to on the dash of this truck. And they are, let's see here. Sorry, sorry about the noise, but where you see the electrical tape down there, that is where that bolt is. And as you can tell, I can't get my fingers down there or anything, so I needed something to hold the bolt in the socket and electrical tape works extremely well. Anyway, as you see, I have already installed the dash. You've got a few plugs down here. You gotta unplug when you d take out the dash. Got all that stuff plugged back in. Got a few bolts here. There's a bolt down there. And there's some more things over there. Some more plugs. We've got, I went ahead and installed a dash cam on the truck so now I got video recording in front of me and then I ran the wire all the way across and through here and up and then I've got the rear camera mounted on this cover here which you guys will see later plugs right in so I can see everything behind me and I can just look in that screen right there and, and I could see how everything's doing in the back of my bed if I can't see it with my rearview mirror. Oh, and another thing. Went ahead and installed some new speakers. Got some Kenwoods in there. Just some six by eights. I figured I didn't want to do all the cutting and everything like that to put six by nines in. So, got all new speakers for it. Um, it's got the factory radio and everything. Not special, but it does have an auxiliary port, so you can plug in your phone and all that other stuff, but sometime down the road, most likely, I'll go ahead and get myself a Bluetooth unit and all that other stuff, but right now, the main thing is getting this thing back on the road. So, we're gonna go ahead and, well, we'll get started. I'll vacuum and I'll uh, probably put the headliner up and then vacuum this real quick, clean it up, and then start with the carpet, then the seats. And you guys will see how this thing looks with no interior and then getting an interior put back in. So it's pretty bright in here right now because it's white, but it'll probably darken up a little bit because it's all black interior. But anyway, sit back and enjoy.
as you guys had seen, the interior is coming together pretty good. And then I came to a screeching halt. Unfortunately, I rushed and learned from my mistake. Make sure you check everything over and then over again. Now, my white truck is just a XL, XLT base, that's it. There's nothing special about my truck, the white one at all. Um, it was a fleet truck, it had manual seats, and I did not take that into, con into consideration. And it has come around to bite me real hard. Now, I'm gonna show you what the harness, I'm gonna show you the harness that I need for the seats. And I'm gonna show you where the plugs are located. And then I'm gonna show you where the plugs are located on the dash. This truck right here doesn't have a dash. So it's gonna be easy-ish to get this harness out. The white truck, I put in the dash. And I might have to take it back out. Anywho, we have this harness here that the door plugs into. We've got a plug back here. Here are the three connectors for this harness. Two of them are back here. And like I said, one's up there. This harness runs across here and then continues to run all the way down the truck. This controls the seat belt and the speaker back there. And then it runs all the way down that side and it controls the seat belt the speaker and that light up there the harness runs through it's got the plug for the electronic seats the plug for the auxiliary port in the center console and the plug for the driver's side comes up through here. I took this apart because I was trying to see where these led to see if I could splice them in myself. If I could hardwire them into the harness, the existing harness on the other truck, but I can't because there's different pins. So the harness comes up, plugs into the door here as well, and then comes up through here and down, plugs into the dash. This plugs into the uh, throttle and that plugs into the dash this stuff is pretty simple to get to and if I would have caught it before I threw my dash in I'd have been just fine but that's the problem I didn't catch it actually I'm to the point to where it's almost a little too late uh, because I'm not sure how I'm gonna be able to get to these connectors so with the dash in that connector is right there so i'm gonna have to go up underneath the dash and figure out how to disconnect it plus i got to pull the fuse panel off there's the two connectors that i need to unplug here's one harness and there's the other half of the harness Then the harness, way up there. It plugs in there and plugs in right here. This, for my emergency brake, that all needs to come off so I can get the harness from behind there, the ground and everything. <laughs> this is, uh, <clears throat> this was a mistake that could have been easily prevented but like I said I started rushing and when you rush you miss stuff and I did I missed so now I have to pull everything off to get to all of it which is unfortunate but I just figured I'd let you guys know Take your time, learn from my mistake, 
and take your time. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and get back to assembly. All right. It wasn't easy at all. But the harness is slowly coming out. Now all I got to do is keep working back. And that's pretty simple. Hardest part was underneath the dash here, but I had to remove. Um, there's my light. I had to remove the uh, fuse panel and everything to get up way up in there to get the harness from back here. I said there's no room, but and then I had to remove the uh, emergency brake and all that other stuff. But it is uh, it is out. Now time to put the other harness back in. Alright, finally got all the interior and the white rhino here. I'm very happy that uh, everything else seemed to go pretty smoothly, but it, uh, it's a little bit of a struggle. Wasn't too bad though. And of course, gonna have to have a uh, tan seat belt for right now until I get the replacement for black seat belt. Remember, a mouse had chewed through that one. So, for right now, it's going to be tan. But, won't be too bad. Everything is in here, though. Looks really good.
ahead and show you what I was talking about with this rear camera right here. Right there is where the rear camera is. I don't know if it's gonna, no, nope, not gonna be able to see it, but. So I got, I drilled a hole in the back here, fed the wire through, plugged it in. Rear facing camera, front facing camera. I'd have to say, it looks good. <laughs> Definitely looks good. I am extremely happy with uh, how everything turned out. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you guys later.